In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Dexcom 6 and the transmitter. Um, this one here has been on here for, for just 10 days. It expired, so I'm about to lengthen the time to another, to another 10 days to see. Also, we're going to be talking about some of the patches that I've, that I've used and which I will really highly recommend that you get, especially to last quite a long time. This one started to lift up a little bit. After about 8 days or so, it like kind of let you know it, it want to it wanna be changed. This here comes with decorations and everything like that. I don't really like these because it doesn't have that peel-out area to peel it out easily also you have to take a little bit of like a knife or something to kind of prick it out so i do like this these are the best that i got that i've gotten on there they are really thin plastic they stick properly one of the things you want to do when you remove these is to make sure that you don't put it back in the same spot actually it's supposed to be done here i write it here because it's just out of the way but i'm going to show you guys how to lay how to lengthen the time on these to another at least another 10 days or 30 days so the first thing you want to do is to take this out so I go on the way, all the way on the inside, and I kind of want to peel it from there, peel it out away from the Dexcom pad itself. Like right here, you can see that the, the pad is lifting. That's not a problem. Um, you can see that the red spot around here is actually, and that's one of the things about this. This used to be this. <laughs> so you can see all this stuff. Um, after showering and stuff, it just kind of runs its ink. That's one of the reasons I don't really recommend these here. And always make sure you get your swab. I always carry, I always have backup of boxes of swab. Get this from the pharmacy. You can get the pharmacy brand or Amazon. And clean this out. So we just want to clean this out. And I think I have to get something a little bit stronger. This is why I make this videos to tell you guys. I have to use nail polish remover to, to remove the ink pigment. I highly recommend these. I got this on Amazon. I will leave the link for you guys down below. So, this has cuts on here, cuts at, on over here. Take out the smaller part. And you want to just put this over, make sure it fits over like this. Now you know it fits in there. You peel it back like there. And take that out. Very sticky, good glue on there. Stick everything, push everything down around. And then you can remove, there's a blue little tab on there that you just kind of lift it up. And the thin layer of the plastic part will stay down. And that's what gives you that, that good protection. So almost the entire Dexcom tip will be covered. Let's go ahead and lengthen the, the, the time that we have on, on our Dexcom. And here, so right in the corner here, I usually do the inside part facing me first, but right in the corner here, you just push your card into the slot. And you need to find it, and this is gonna be troublesome if you have somebody to help you. Here you go, and you hear that click. That's what you're looking for. It's gonna fit in just like that. So that part is out. And then you're gonna do that part right there. And there we go. It's kind of hard to see, but right in here, in the, in, the, in the area here, there's a little groove here, and that's where it makes contact. So you're basically taking the credit card or your, or your driver's license, and you're pushing it here and unlock it. So that's what it is. So this one here, you can see it popped up a little bit. So that's where you want to get into, and just do this, and it just unlocks and pops up. You do the same thing with this side here. You just find a little groove right on the side here, and just push it in and it comes out. So you want to take it out after you remove it, let it sit for five minutes, kind of just clean it out. Um, also clean the, in there, where the contact area in there, just clean it out on the, on the other side of this. And let it sit for a while, put it back in and then we'll, and you're good to go. So it's about five minutes. So we're gonna put this in, press it down. You will hear two clicks or just one big click and make sure it press down in here. And that's basically it. your Dexcom app, new sensor, enter code. Make sure you have your old code. Um, you should have saved this. I kind of know mine because it's kind of all the same. Enter manually, enter code. I think it's 9117. Done. Confirm. Successful. You want to see that. Click next. Start sensor and warm-up session will start so you get your two hours and you're good to go 
and we'll see what happens after two hours. So guys, four hours later, and everything is working perfect. Here we go. Just had dinner, so I'm running at 140, 143 right now. We put it like this, you can see the numbers. Pretty good numbers there. Perfect. Guys, this is Charlie. Like and subscribe. I'm out.